I'll be using these few colors um, in my painting. These are soft pastels, hard pastels, and then there are very soft pastel colors that I'll mainly use to show sunlight. And all the detailed drawing and the detail in the painting will be done by pastel pencils, so they are very important over here. And I'll try to use all the colors the darker shades for uh, the darks and shadows and the lighter shades for the light. always have a paper down there and I've done the basic sketch. Now I'm going to add more detail to the sketch first and um, because this is quite a complicated painting it has a very complicated pattern it is, a, it is going to be a painting of a door and the pattern is very uh, geometrical so I need to make the drawing with all the detail and need to do all the corrections before I even start filling the color into it I'll be using all the colors for the darker tones darks don't mean that it has to be a black or brown color you can use blues purple even red to give uh, the dark color effect but you need uh, to get the darker shade to do so And in the same way, light doesn't does not mean uh, that it has to be white. You can use light pink, light yellow, light blue, grays. All these colors could be added to show the light. Now this drawing can also be done by using hard pastel colors because they have a pointed end but not as pointed as pastel pencils could give you. I have added a lot many colors over here and the painting has finally taken a shape. Can already get the effect of the wooden door. But what I'm doing right now is that I'm making a new color. In pastel drawing, uh, you cannot mix the colors on any palette or any other thing. You have to do the color mixing right on your paper. It seems to be quite difficult in the beginning, but as you do a little practice you come to know that it's pretty easy so I filled the entire uh, circular pattern with a white shade and I used medium pastel and hard pastel for that and now what I'm doing is that I'm just uh, I just take uh, I've taken um, a darker shade and I'm trying to I'm going to apply the darker shade on the circular patterns to do a color mixing but only at the areas where I want to show the shadow so half of the door will be in a shadow and half half of the door uh, will be in sunlight and of course you can see that the lower part is the half that is going to be in sunlight so for the shadows I just need to mix a dark color into white or I'm just saying white but this is not the white color that I've used entirely on these circles I've just used paler white I've just used uh, grays and and then white of course but I'll add more shades to the light and even to the shadowy area as mm, 
I mean, I will work more on the painting. Just trying to bring out the wooden design along with my color filling. Now, if your paper uh, don't get your color, I mean, when you're doing color mixing, you don't need to spray the fixative on your painting, but when you need to add more colors or if you want to add a new color, you need to do a fixative spray. But don't overdo that. First, try your best to bring out the painting as I mean do as much work as you can but there, if there comes a stage that your paper don't take your um, pastel color anymore then try to do a nice fixative spray and then when it's dry you can work more on your painting Now, uh, if we do oil painting or acrylic painting, there we have our uh, different tools. We have, I'm just using smudger right now to smudge the colors. Okay, there we use uh, different size brushes to just uh, change the style of our painting or you know, if you want to do a really um, sensitive kind of detail on, your, on our painting. But in pastel painting, you just need to change your pastels. It works just like um, you change brushes in your acrylic painting or in your oil painting. When you want to uh, spread a color on your uh, canvas, you just take a larger brush and over here you can use your um, soft pastel colors they are very you know, easy to use on larger areas but they have their own effect too like over here I'm using pencils and they're just giving um, a very harsh effect and very uh, solid sort of effect which is very good over here because I'm making a pattern and I'm trying to show it to be old wood but on the lower part I'm going to show the soft sunlight falling on the wood and I've used soft pastel color to fill the circles so there are many texts that you can use um, even using your uh, smudger and using your hand to smudge that makes a big difference I mean um, you can um, with this smudger you can uh, blend the colors yet keep the colors but with your hand you can mix the colors and blend them now the difference the where uh, the shadow um, starts and the light ends it it cannot be a straight harsh line over there you just I'm just trying to show that it gradually changes into shadow I mean it is daylight after all that I'm showing you can take your painting step by step you just can um, make the effect of light and shadow and then you can add more detail to your work and then you can just uh, move on to give different textures like I'll do later I'll just try to um, I mean I think I'll try to make the texture of the wood on the door but before that I just want to create the pattern I just want to place the, the light and the shadow and then I'll add more you know things into my painting to develop more interest into it so you can take your painting step by step but work on your entire painting at the same time <laughs> 